Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make form views in Airtable to easily trigger your automations. Form views let you add records to an Airtable database by filling out a prompt for each field. Forms are a great way to let your colleagues or clients contribute to a database and they ensure that you don't have any incomplete records that could cause errors in your automations. Form views are easy to set up and they're a very useful tool for any automator to have at their disposal. At X-Ray, we use them all the time in our tutorials and in our automations. So let's get started and learn how to use them. All you need for this tutorial is Airtable. I'd also recommend using an automation platform like Zapier or Make to see how Airtable forms can trigger an automation to run. First, open up an Airtable base that you'd like to add a form to. In our example, we're going to add a form to our client directory. In the Create section in the bottom left corner, click on Form and give your form view a name. Airtable will create a new view that organizes all of your fields as questions in a form. From here, you can edit your form however you'd like. By default, Airtable will include every field as a question and it will use the field name as the text of the question. To remove questions from the form, just click and drag them into this fields section on the left. You can also change the text of each question and add helper text if you'd like to provide more information. Note that all of your edits will only appear in the form view. Removing a field from the form won't delete it from the base or other views. Changing the question text won't change the name of your fields either, and you can customize your form freely without worrying about messing up the rest of your data. Once you've tweaked your form as desired, you can just fill it out to add a record to your table. However, you can't fill out the form from this editable view. You can enter text into the fields, but you can't actually submit your answers and create a new record. Instead, you'll need to click on Share Form and copy the link, or just click on the Open Form button. Now you can answer each prompt and click Submit. If you return to your Airtable base, you should see a new record with your responses. Both Zapier and Make have the option to trigger an automation whenever a new record is added to a specific Airtable view. The main thing to keep in mind when you're using Airtable forms to trigger an automation is that the records don't appear in the form view itself. Even if you're adding records using a form, you'll need to designate another view, like a grid, as the view that will trigger your automations. So in our automation, we'll choose this view called New Contacts. When we test the trigger, we can see the data we just submitted in the form. Now we can continue and build any automation we'd like with this data. Airtable forms are a great way to let your clients and team contribute to your databases without needing to grant them edit access. Once they submit an answer, you can easily set up an automation to use that data that they submitted. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you'd like to learn more about no-code or low-code automation, you can follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.